Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, the 9th day of January. Here we go. It is a halacha in the Shulchan Aruch that when you open up your tefillin bag, and you want to take out your tefillin to use them for the morning, you're not allowed to shake them out of the bag onto the table. It's insensitive. The tefillin themselves are very, very holy, of course. They don't actually have feelings, but you, the Jew, who are taking your tefillin out of the bag should not show an insensitive sensitivity to your tefillin because the whole idea of pretty much every mitzvah you do is to inculcate goodness into you. And if you were to treat your tefillin in a way that showed that you're insensitive to them and not treating them in a holy way, then well, you know, a lot of the what you want to have happen from the tefillin can't happen because you're not even being the good person that that's supposed to happen when you wear your tefillin and do holy things. Therefore, you're supposed to take them out gently. Kiss them when you take them out. When you place the sarosh on your head, you don't dangle them from the bottom of the knot, hanging as if you're like holding your baby upside down by the ankles, which you might think is cute, but it's insensitive. So you never show that kind of uh, feeling or action towards any mitzvah. If you were to show feelings like that to a mitzvah, again, it would inculcate in you an insensitivity, and that's the exact opposite intent of all mitzvahs, which is to make you into a better person. That's why we say uh, things like send away a mother bird uh, from a nest before you take away the eggs and the Mishnah says don't think that that's because God made this mitzvah because he loves little cute birds which he might but that's not the reason. The reason for a mitzvah is because all mitzvahs are meant to inculcate good uh, feelings inside of us and those will only happen when you make yourself into a good person by treating every mitzvah with dignity. That's why we do things like cover up the challah whenever we lift up the wine so the challah will quote unquote not be embarrassed which really means in the deeper sense we're explaining it now you shouldn't be caught treating challah in an embarrassing way or tefillin in an embarrassing way or birds in an embarrassing way because then you're becoming an insensitive person. But when you shake out, I'm sorry, when you take out your tefillin properly from the bag, when you show respect to the challah, when you kiss your tefillin, when you take them out of the bag, you are automatically becoming a better person as you show holiness to holiness. That's the idea. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.